Hi everyone, Ariana here with Rosabella Consulting. And this week I'm going to show you how to use your journal to turn your note-taking efforts into real learning opportunities. This is actually a prompt I went over a few months ago about the real acronym. So it starts with relate, experiment, act, and look. Uh, so that is how you can use your journal to turn your note-taking into real learning opportunities. And this is important because we come across new information and ideas all the time throughout the day. And it really takes intention and effort to synthesize what we are learning and act on it. For this week's prompt, I'm going to show you an example of what I've done in my own journal to turn my note taking into a real learning opportunity. I'm going to use an example from a podcast I just listened to. It was a conversation between Ra Goddess and Tammy Simon for the Insights at the Edge podcast about making money and making change. And there was just something about this podcast that really spoke to me and I listened to it twice. And that's when I know I really need to give myself time and space to then synthesize. So there were six core limiting beliefs that Ra Goddess shared uh, that hold people back from earning the money that they want to make. And dealing with my relationship with money is something I have been working on in my journal for years. I think it's an area that a lot of us have a lot of emotion around and can benefit from processing and healing and rewriting some of those limiting stories. So there were the six limiting beliefs. I've already written them down. I also wrote this quote where she said it's true because we believe it's true, which also really spoke to me. And so now I have them down. I'm going to go into the first step, which is relating. And what I'll do is I go through each one and I can see with each of these, I'm going to use a symbol in a different color pen to notate where I'm at. So there is not enough. That is a limiting belief I'm aware of and I have worked on. So I'm putting a star next to it. I am not worthy. Another limiting belief that I am aware of and I have worked through, not that I'm perfect, but I've done some work on both of these too. I am afraid of what it's going to take and trade-offs. Now this one really gives voice to what I'm experiencing in the moment. So I'm gonna put plus signs next to it because for me that indicates an opportunity for growth and I'm putting two plus signs next to it. I might be corrupted or changed or compromised and not trusting oneself. I'm gonna put another star. That's another one I have worked through somewhat. And then last but not, or sorry, two more. I have a beef with capitalism, another one I have worked with. Some of these core beliefs, limiting beliefs, might not fit for you. And it's not about whether or not these ideas resonate. It's about me demonstrating what it looks like to relate. Next, it's not safe. I'm going to put one plus sign next to that because that's one I haven't considered. I can see it a little bit in myself and I haven't really worked through it, but I'm not feeling as resonant with that one as I am with this third one. I am afraid of what it's going to take and these trade-offs. That is something that I have felt clearly for a few years, but never been able to articulate quite like this. So this is a powerful learning opportunity for me. Next, I'm going to move into experiment and act. And what I see here is an opportunity to rewrite and reframe. So I'm going to take this one put an arrow down and I'm going to write, this is, this is what I'm going to reframe. I get to decide what I give to make it happen. So that's where I'm starting. Next, I recognize with this one, I have a specific action that I'm going to take. And for that, I'm gonna do a little arrow so that I can reflect on this quickly. I D barriers. So for me, I see, I get to decide. I have that power of what I'm going to give. These, this notion of trade-offs is an illusion that I am supporting. 
uh, by holding on to that fear, right? It's true because we believe it's true. So I'm going to renegotiate that by identifying my barriers or boundaries. That's actually the word I was really looking for was boundaries here. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one, I'm going to work on it, and my next step is going to be to identify my boundaries as I move into new growth opportunities in my business. Having those boundaries that allows for personal, professional balance, or at least that attempt to it, is gonna be really important for me to not get sucked into this limiting belief. So that's it, super simple. One of the things with journaling that a lot of people don't realize is that it's the quality of thought you engage in when you pause and reflect like this. And so you'll see, I didn't write a ton here, but I got a lot out of this time of writing and reflecting and pausing and really contemplating. And now I have a specific next step that I am going to take in a future journaling practice. Uh, so that's it. As always, if you are ready to experience personal and professional transformation yourself, if you have some ideas for change and you don't know how to make them happen, you are always welcome to join us for a journal jam. You can check out the next journal jam information about that and how to register are below and on the website, rosabellaconsulting.com. It's always an opportunity and privilege to be able to share in this journey with you. Thank you for joining me and be well.